Welcome back to the channel. Many of you will remember our student pilot, Matt. Well, Matt's now completed his initial training and is a very capable pilot in command. Matt wants to develop his flying skills even further and remembers the saying that a good pilot is always learning. Today we had a 20 knot wind running down the runway which quickly developed into a 40 knot upper air headwind. We always repeat the pre-takeoff safety brief and one of the components says we will not turn back to the runway under 1,000 feet. Quite literally, it's a good thought to say, land ahead with an engine failure and go to hospital, turn back and go to the morgue. And sadly, there are dozens of examples of this scenario having happened in the past with disastrous consequences. Please note, this video is not for training and the flight was conducted under very strict safety conditions. The process must not be attempted without a suitably qualified instructor to ensure your safety. And as always, it was a great day, so come with us and enjoy a short video from my office. That's a lot of good. I don't know if there's anyone else around. I don't think so. Haven't heard anybody. Apart from the guy coming in. And we'll go taxi and then I'll do the what ifs. Dollar traffic, Jabru, 7693, entering, backtracking, 3-1, Gore. So on this first takeoff, we've got a fairly strong wind. That's got to be good 20 knots. Right. 15 to 20 knots. Um, it's gusting a little bit still, it was, yeah, a little bit from the right still. Um, I'll do the takeoff. Okay. And we're going to have a look at why we don't turn back under 1,000 feet. Okay. That's step number one. So it really, even though we say it in our mantra before we take off, it's also important to see that, that what's going to happen if you do do it. Okay? Yep. So I'll, I'll do the best I can knowing we've got a fairly strong wind. So what do you think is going to happen if when we start to turn back with a theoretical engine failure? Let me think about it for a second. Yeah, get on the Benjamin. Yep. Yeah, so aircraft tracking wise, what do you think is going to happen? It's taken off. It'll be at maybe 400 feet or something like that. We're going to try and turn We're going back. To, it's going to push us back this way. Because the wind's coming this way. That's right. Yep. You know, if we're uh, lifting a wing, it's gonna it's gonna push us even more back yep. this way. So we're probably going to be pushed a lot along the the runway if we can get back to it. Yep. And uh, so if we can actually get back to the runway, we'll have not much left. And uh, a tailwind to try and stop. Uh, to boot. Okay. Yes. But also, is it a 180 degree turn? Like we're going up this way. Now we're going to come back again, right? Oh, it's bigger than 180. It's, it's close to 270 degrees, so it's up, around, back around, and then in. But it's, yeah. So it's more than a 180 degree turn, and we're going to be 400 feet off the ground. Okay, you, you go through the what ifs. Yep, what if. So, in the uh, need of an, a rejected takeoff, it is power back, brakes on, mags off. For a, an engine failure with uh, sufficient runway remaining, it was forward to the runway, brakes on, uh, mags off. And for an engine failure with no runway uh, remaining, it is the paddocks out the front of uh, 3-1 and no turning back under 1,000 OGL. Good lad. What's the All last right. thing we do? And are we fit for flying? So it's flaps, fuel pump. Instruments are in the green, looking all good. I heard someone say the other day, look, see and say. Green, green, green. Okay. It's very easy yeah. to gloss over them. Yes. I, and I can be and, guilty of that too. And temperatures are... Uh, that one's going to take a while to come up. But no, I yeah. Close enough. Yep. It, perfect. Okay, my, my controls? Right, your controls. My um, controls. And we're going to plan a, a turn back, see what happens. We've got no other traffic around us, so it's quite safe today to do that, right? Okay. A little bit of a crosswind from the right. Right, I beg your pardon. See it gusting? A little bit, yeah. So we're going to be mindful of that as well. Make sense? Makes sense. Good to go? Good to go. Call of traffic. Call of traffic, Jabiru 7693, lined up a rolling uh, 3 1. Call it. The uh, fuel pump makes a noise when you're transmitting. Yep. Okay, a little bit of stick here. Already you can see how it's starting to wander. Yep. So I'm going to get the nose off the uh, a bit more right foot, a lot more right foot. Here we are, 60 knots, up we go. 
So we climb up at 65, because that's our VX. And we've got a huge headwind. We're not even at the end of the field yet. <laughs> right? So we've got about a 40 knot wind up here. Look at this, we climb up 800 foot a minute. Not even at the end of the runway yet. <laughs> it's isn't it? That's ridiculous. Gotta put the flaps up, flaps up. Hello, we can't get the flaps up. Why not? Ah, we have had a... Uh... Oh, now flaps up. I trick you. Yeah, uh, you're tricking yourself there. <laughs> no, I did it, I did it on first. Yeah. See what you'd do. Okay, so look, we're, normally we're turning crosswind here. Engine failure, 800 feet, right? Yep. We can't turn too steep because we've got that wind pushing us. We don't want to flip them over. Yep. 65 is our best glide. I wouldn't want to make it any steeper than that with that wind. Now normally you wouldn't do this because if there's traffic around, but we haven't got traffic around. Now what are we going to do? So we continue not, not to turn, deal, have we? so then a second turn. We're not at the runway yet, no. are we? So we, we'd have to use the cross runway, that's all we could use now. Which may be a good option, but so only you, because we've you, got that wind. turn and then... Exactly, alright? Got the idea? Yes. So not until you see it, that you realise what, what can happen. Yeah, that's a really strong wind, look at it. <laughs> Not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll get out and push. Take over the runway. Door controls. My controls. Get us back over the runway again. Yeah, so it's just not that was at 800 feet. Now, if we didn't have a wind, it might be possible, but why would you take a pump when you've got all these beautiful patterns yeah. out the front?